Today marks two years since four University of Idaho students were killed in their off-campus home. The university's student government hosted a candlelight vigil tonight in honor of Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin. Marissa Rio takes us to that memorial tonight. Within the darkness and gentle tapping of rain was a light that shined bright at the Vandal Healing Garden and Memorial tonight. But it wasn't just a small moment for us. It was a large moment for our community to continue to hold on to each other and learn how to love each other through the tragedy. That tragedy the community has had to love each other through happened two years ago today when they received this vandal alert. It's when they learned about the passing of Zana Kernodal, Madison Mogan, Ethan Chapin, and Kaylee Gonsalves. But today, as crowds of people huddled in their honor, it was clear their memories live on. Um, they had a really profound effect on the first couple of years here at, at U of I, and um, I'm just really grateful that so many people remember them and care about them. Candles were passed around and lit throughout the crowd. And at one point, a blanket of silence hovered over everyone as they all took a moment to honor the four students' lives. Beyond lighting candles, people also had the opportunity to write on note cards letters or memories that they shared with the four University of Idaho students. As you can see over here, there are some of those notes. Now today's vigil was truly a space for healing. It revealed how many lives Zana, Ethan, Maddie, and Kaylee touched, even those they never met. We went last year and we just saw how big the celebration was and the celebration and remembrance of life. And we wanted to continue that memory. And of course, their light also shines on through the friends they left behind. The outdoors is a wonderful, beautiful place. And <laughs> Zaina was always talking about it and always wanted to go on trips. And so truly just like enjoying nature and finding that. Um, don't forget to take care of the small moments and take kind of care of our earth. It's a beautiful, wonderful place. In Moscow, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.